Hey everyone, welcome back to another impromptu lab video. My name is Devin Adams. I'm a Fortin instructor here in Tempe, Arizona uh, for Dynamic Worldwide. And me and Forty Duck, quack, probably the worst idea I ever had, quack. Anyways, um, <laughs> we were pretty much doing an impromptu lab here as stuff comes to me as I study for my NSC4. Now, yesterday I did pass my NSC4, yay, but guess what? I got to take my NSC7 here pretty soon, so I'll just keep throwing stuff at this lab as it comes to mind and that's the whole idea behind this duck here i i borrowed it from the developers world where you talk to a a rubber duck to help you debug and stuff like that but uh if you guys remember from the last video we set up a simple email server it should have been simple i put a bunch of caveats in there little problems i ran into but um we got it up and running now it's time for us to set our alerts so uh, 40 duck you know whenever he makes a configuration change I now want to know about it because he was plucking around to where he wasn't supposed to be so uh, let's go ahead and set that up so and remember the whole point here is just to test out our, our notifications so let's go ahead and log into the firewall so oh you know what I set up LDAP didn't I sweet alright good times alright so the first place that you go is on six at least you you go to system to set up the email server so once that loads up here here we go so system oh excuse me guys uh, advanced all right email server now if you have a FortiGuard license you actually can use their email and uh, they will send you alerts I've tried it out before several times so you don't need your own email server but we made our own so here we go uh, FortiGate actually no that's gonna be the the server itself isn't it so 10.10.1.10 and the reason why I'm using this IP address instead of the MX record is because uh, the FortiGate's using oh excuse me guys so the FortiGate's not using the domain controller for DNS right now so um, and I believe we did port 587 right 5 come on 587 there we go and we made FortiGate its own account. So FortiGate at itninja.lab. Now, the default reply to is if someone replies to an alert email, who does it go to? If that was like a knock account or some kind of account that um, multiple people could see, that would probably be better. Oh, excuse me. So I'll just say that the FortiGate is that account, right? So, and we set that up in the last class. So uh, authentication, we'll use FortiGate at itninja.lab and I believe our super secret password is something like that. All right, so we hit apply. Once that is done, look at that, it instantly turned to 25. So I wonder if it got that from reaching out to the server. That was kind of freaky, that was kind of cool. All right, so uh, let's go down to our log and reports. And once you have that turned on, you should see email alert settings. So let's go ahead and enable this. All right, it's gonna be from the FortiGate. FortiGate at itninja.lab, right? To me, itninja.lab, all right? And for every one minute interval. Now, this is how long do you want the FortiGate collecting logs for before it sends out the alert. So if there's something that is, is completely flooding it with logs and alerts, it doesn't mail bomb your your mail server all right so I'm keeping at one here just so I don't have to wait so long for email notifications so and then uh oh excuse me guys so I always do this too late so we're gonna go ahead and say whenever an admin logs in and out and every time there's a configuration change I want 40 duck 40 duck to uh, be caught so to send me an alert and I'm gonna hit apply here now um, I do not like how non-granular this is. So granted, you do get three separate persons, but regardless of what kind of event it is, they're all gonna get the event. Now, normally you need like a 4 analyzer to get more detailed emails, right? Like specific emails to specific people for certain events. Uh, but now you can use the automation stitching, but that's not in 6.00. So um, I do believe they might have included it later on, but we'd have to update our firmware. So um, right now, oh, pff, look at that. I already got an alert message. So that's something that's changed. There it is. All right. Pretty darn cool, right, guys? So 
and it looks like there was a configuration change because someone edited the email settings. <laughs> All right, that, that works. So uh, as you guys can see, they're working, but let's actually see it happening in action here. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, log off, right? So let's close down Mozilla and let's uh, log off Devin and let's get 40 duck here. So 40 duck comes along, he's disgruntled. All right, so he logs in and you won't see an email right away and you're not supposed to. There's supposed to be a minute lag there, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, like there's a large audience watching these. Anyways, for the three people that might be watching this. Um, so, yep, see what I mean? One, what, about one minute and it looks like uh, uh, 40 duck. Admin login successful information system. I probably have to drill down to see specifically who. But if 40 Duck did something like, you know, network interfaces and he's disgruntled, right? So he's going to change the alias here from LAN to, I don't know, 4T. There it is. Duck was here. Was here. Quack. You know and tries to log off real quick trying to be funny and he uh, hobbles away quack 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 alright uh, I could be at home and I could I could be on my my phone or something like that passing time and before I know it I should get an email alert that that has happened so once again guys it doesn't happen right right away but it I promise you yep right there so as you can see here we have a configuration change by 40 duck okay and then we can go in there and and see specifically what he changed so um, pretty crazy huh so and there it is the alias from land to 40 duck was here 40 duck you bad duck anyways guys so that was just a super short email or email uh, video on how to uh, set up notifications so just to kind of I keep getting lost in my virtual world. It's been a long day. Uh, just to kind of reiterate this, though, let me log in real quick, and I'm definitely turning off the the admin login, log out changes, or I'll get flooded with emails here. And like I said, uh, I just do not like how limited it is. So hopefully in the next video we'll we'll update the the 40 OS and see if we can do some stitching to make that a little a little bit more granular. So um, let me go to login reports. And once again, you can either do it through an event, guys. Uh, let me look at that. So thank you there, buddy. So you see how we can say like a virus was detected, IPS, web filtering was blocked, someone hit a policy denied, okay? A VPN failure, an IPsec tunnel going down, okay? See how specific that is? Or we can simply say, give me a severity level, all right? Now, just be careful because Oh, excuse me. Don't want to get into the problem of the little boy who cried wolf, right? You get too many of these notifications, and I promise you, you'll start you'll start ignoring them. So, uh, but there you guys go. That's how we set up some email alerts. So, uh, let's see here. Uh, for right now, we will just keep our severity level at alerts or more. There we go. So, um, but yeah. Until next time, guys, I'll try to figure out something else to do, and hopefully someone found that somewhat somewhat helpful. So, And if not, I'm sorry for wasting your time, me and 40 Duck. And uh, when we get back, maybe we'll update the, the firmware. So, alrighty, until next time.